grows in justice by Monday, if not before, the government will have hit its target of jabbing 15 million of the most vulnerable. Ministers will also tour the country to persuade those from ethnic minorities to ignore dangerous myths spreading online and be immunized. It's all been a triumph of British spirit, willing, knowledge and ingenuity. How sickening, then, to see Cromwell Street monster Rose West getting her vax. It is bad enough that she received it a week before the vast majority of over 60 but West, 67 also got it, in large part, because she is now morbidly obese having been allowed to stuff her face for years in her comfortable cell. The underlying health issues which got her to the front of the jab queue are more likely than not the result of her own selfishness and quest joined her husband in the systematic rape and murder of 10 young women, including her own daughter. We cannot think of a woman less deserving of the state's protection. The GDP, PM at the same time Chancellor Rishi Sunak warns of a fallen GDP of nearly that is the biggest shrinking of the economy since the great frost of 1709 wiped out crops in the harshest winter and it's the one number Boris Johnson should keep in mind when others are bandied about by the sage scientists urging him to adopt a zero COVID predictions are one thing. Many of those have been wrong anyway. But this collapse in the UK economy is already a dire cast iron fact that cannot be allowed to get worse. Our nation of traders and shopkeepers must be allowed to reopen as soon as possible. No delays, no wobbling. Because every week that passes means dozens more business is going to the wall. We cannot eradicate this virus. We have to learn to live with it. Fab jab team out there all day in snow and freezing temperatures. They've been manning vaccination centers with a cheery smile and words of comfort for the end. The least the sun could do is to arrange with our friends at delivery to provide some hot and the least we can